Bader Marker, my pupil. He's just won the full series of the Stolfin Akron. AJ won the first leg and the second leg, and then obviously by the third leg we thought that he had it in the bag, and then um, his no, best horse, his, yeah, Aviation, his best horse um, was injured, so she couldn't jump, and then so obviously he, he didn't win the third leg, so it put a lot of pressure on him to win today. Okay, well just a big thank you to Lieben from Crown and sponsor of this class and um, yeah, I believe we're going to Belgium, so very excited. Hi, I'm Dominic Alexander and this is my horse Salahoff Toscana. Uh, we just won the 1 meter 35 micro speed derby uh, last weekend at the, the Avis derby. Um, Toscana is an amazing horse. She never lets me down. She uh, is a great winner. So she has prime spot in our stable yard here, overlooking everywhere. Um, just a real trier, and gee, I wish I had just one more of these, because she's just so brilliant. Uh, the track really suited um, Tosca, because you need a horse that's very fast, across the ground, and super careful. And that's what she is. I can gallop as fast as I can. There were, I think, 16 or 17 numbered jumps. But um, obviously there was a dike, um, and I remember galloping as fast as I could into the dike, just saying, whoa, and she slows down. Um, she went off the bank, she did everything. I had a mistake at the water. I, I tried to angle it and turn inside, and, but she was so fast that, you know, even with four seconds added, she still won. So the, the track was long, um, but she, she's just amazing. Hi, I'm John Corber, and this is Piccadilly. We've just won the mini derby the 140s and we are so happy and I'm so grateful to have such an amazing horse. This is my husband Ray and he's supported me all the way. Thanks. Well I knew she was going to win especially because she's got the flu. Um, I just knew it was, uh, was going to be a tough day and Piccadilly helped her through, through it all. It was a very challenging track, only three clear rounds and yeah, brilliant, brilliant combination. So all that's left now is to barge on uh, an another horse that can jump the 150 so she can win that next year because she won the marker last year. Sure, talk about being on a roll. Um, you've had the most amazing year with this horse. He's only gone 150s this year Yeah. and um, and you've had some big wins and then to, you couldn't have a sweeter icing on the cake than to go and win the derby of everything. Um, you must be absolutely elated. Oh, I'm so proud of him. I'm so I'm still on cloud now, and I still can't believe it. The whole experience still seems a bit surreal to me. Being my first derby, I didn't really know what to expect, but um, Don Kamak has been on such form lately that um, I knew in my mind that if I gave him a perfect ride to every fence, he would jump a clear round because um, he's just. I mean, he's unbelievably brave. He's careful. Um, he's intelligent and I just knew that if I could hold it together, he would hold <laughs> it together. What do you feel when you, you jump the double of gates and, and you cantering down to the last fence? Is it going through your mind like, oh, I've got one more to clear and then I'm the winner? Or, or is there anything specifically going through your mind? Well, yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the last line was very tricky. The, the double, as you know, is always very big. and. Um, you could either do it on eight or nine, and going into into the arena, I said to Gonda, you know, I still haven't made up my mind. I still don't know what to do. Um, so I just kind of relied on my eye, and um, when I cantered down on the eight to to the last fence, as he took off, I knew it was the right decision. And I think uh, before I even landed, before he put his foot feet on the ground, I was smiling because I knew he had he had jumped to clear. I also just want to thank my coach, Gonda. She's been my coach for over 20 years. Um, she's always been my inspiration. She's such a legend. Um, I lived and I worked for her for, uh, for, for many, many years. And I think just witnessing her true brilliance and um, her every way, everyday work ethic, and um, it's just proven to be invaluable. And, and this is for her as much as it is for me. And what else can you tell us about your champion? Um, I got him as a four-year-old um, from Henning Pretoria. So he, you know, I've been riding for the Capital Stud for about seven years. So he asked me to ride him and bought him here as a four-year-old. So I've had him for five years. He's only a nine-year-old. He only started jumping in the big classes the beginning of this year. Um, but I did take it very slowly with him. I mean, he has it, he has been in the open classes for about three years, and. Um, yeah, and he's my little mouse with his pink nose and his big ears. That's his nickname, Mouse Mouse. <laughs> and yeah, absolutely love him. You're